a situation which is unfavorable to make you stronger, to move on into another level and have that experience in your back and look back and look at it and say, yeah, that was a tough time, but I made it through. And being grateful for that. Otherwise, life is so boring. If everything is peaches and cream from the morning, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, that's going to be too soft, too much of a soft life. And eventually we just forget and won't be grateful anymore for what we have. So sometimes it's necessary for us to lose something or to be ill, to be grateful of our health and wellness or to have to struggle financially or emotionally or in love or whatever, whatever is the situation. It's not a bad thing. It's how you look at it. It's your perspective. It's your attitude that is going to put you in a place that you are suffering or put you in a place that you're joyful and you're really grateful of life. I saw during the US presidency election like how some people were so invested and so focused on negatives, or even now during the COVID crisis of how people are focused on the negative. I see it with people around me, family members, some friends, that they're just focused on, oh, you know, I just hear stuff like, oh, this sucks and that sucks and uh, this country and da 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 and it's just the attention it doesn't matter where you are you can be in the worst country in the world or you can be in the best country in the world and then it, your, if your attention is on the negative then everything is negative even a beautiful sunny day is is too beautiful of a sunny day and it's not good and you can be in the worst country in the world and if you really, your attention is on the presence and the recognition of what is in this moment, of the vastness of what's available to you, then all of a sudden your, the country is, becomes irrelevant. It's your experience in this moment of expansion, of the true love. And I'll share this with you, even if you have one more day to live, even if you have cancer, let's say you have a, uh, you're terminally ill and, and you're only going to live three more, three more months and you're in pain. You still have that ability to be grateful and to find beauty and love and the expansion and the presence of the being even in that situation and tap into that level of consciousness you have that ability to do it it's just perspective it's how you look at something where do you want to put your attention on? Do you want to put your attention on this is wrong with my son, that's wrong with my partner, and this is da -da -da with my daughter or my family, and they do this and they do that, and I always have to look after them or clean after them. So now you're the victim and you're not being treated fairly and everything's against you or you can just shift that perspective and 
Bring some meditation in your life. Learn to be quiet and learn to tap into what is available to you, the presence, which is the presence, the love. The power of the love, the power of the being, the vastness of consciousness of God, this moment, the vastness of it. It's so vast. It's overwhelming of its beauty, of its love, which is in this moment. And we keep missing it. This is like I just like wow how did I miss this in the past which is so simple it's just so unbelievably simple and it's here and it's free and you don't have to do anything for it. It's literally given to you. And, I'm, and we miss it. We just miss it. We keep missing it. And life keeps renewing itself. So you have the next moment and next moment and next moment. But we're so screwed up. So brainwashed, so living, you know, in la la land, just like so sleepy, so drugged up, so drugged. Culturally, through internet, through prescription medications, alcohol, sugar, food, and drama, and TV, and the drama movies. And more than anything, so much, so hypnotized to be so invested in our emotional process. Oh my God, I mean, I just, this is just like, drives me crazy of seeing a human race that is so stuck in so many different levels, even in spiritual level, with a lot of spiritual seekers, so stuck, so much invested in this emotional stuff of this happened to me and that happened to me and da 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 in this story, this story that is just not even real or doesn't even exist, that we're so attached to it, so involved with it, so heavily invested into this past story that we have, that we can't let go of it for a moment. And then when we sit together in meditation, because the power of presence is so strong that it happens, I can see it happens to you, and you disconnect from it, and you just like, whew, fall back. And you fall back to what? You fall back to the presence. You fall back into now. This is what happens. Because <laughs> I am not doing anything to you or I'm not giving you anything that you don't have. Because it's impossible. I can't give you something that you already have. And I can't do something to you that it's your natural inheritance, but it's easy, I can see, for you to project it on me that I'm doing it. No, all I'm doing is simply living in this moment, hanging out in the presence, and disconnecting from my story, my emotional story.